respected brothers and sisters celebrating the 100th birthday of sri satya sai baba is a great event for the world at large as it will be a smooth shift from the dark age to the golden age a continuous journey of humanity till we all reach the highest level of godhood needs a turn shown by swami himself that is vidya vahini involving every child everywhere i would like to quote from yanush pujak a tale for our time precious in the sight of the lord is the death of the righteous ones says the psalmist if one might ask why the deaths of the righteous ones rather than their lives are precious to the lord the answer is this while the lord is pleased with the righteous ones as long as they are living righteous lives only at their deaths can there be certainty that they never deviated from the path of righteousness an ancient jewish myth at least 1500 years old has it that there must live on earth at any one time 36 righteous people only the existence of these righteous ones justifies humanity's continuation in the eyes of the lord otherwise god would turn his face from the earth and we all would perish i unquote i know three of them to share with mahatma gandhi father of the nation who sacrificed his life for the freedom of the nation yanush kozak father of child rights the whole world accepted but still waiting to implement those tagus play post office to enact before to die with a head held high along with his 200 children durga bai deshmukh mother of social work in india in her book chintaman and i last chapter summing up she writes from my girlhood i have had the habit of introspection it continues even today i spend some time at night before i go to bed or when i am alone thinking of what i did during the day if i made a mistake i analyze why i made it if i shouted at somebody in anger i try to find out why i could not keep my composure this introspection is in my view a good thing it helps us to con- correct the mistakes we might have committed and to get to the right path i regard my conscience as my guru i am this will be a big lesson for everyone and this is in particular national education policy 2020 identifies the teacher must be at the center of the fundamental reforms in the educational system we are currently in a learning crisis a large portion of students currently in elementary school estimated to be over 5 crore in number have not attained foundational literacy and numeracy the ability to read and comprehend basic text with this i submit my school development program based on my experiences with children let us join together and make prashant nilayam a model for the world swami's birthday wish to fulfill jai hind